Here it is, the beautiful 151 UPC Mew Edition. Sliding it out of its little sleeve here. Cool that it's this kind of stencil design so you can see that Mew is on the box and then when you open it up, you don't just get some plain, you know, display box. It, it maintains that Mew on there. So really smart marketing and design on that part. Because a lot of these things, you open up the special box and it's just like a plain blue or plain white box inside of the cool display thing. And now if you want to keep the display box, you got to like keep the whole thing perfect and then put it back somehow, which often can be very difficult. And in this one, if you want the title, great, but really the display is still there. And opening that up, oh, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Starting with the three promo cards here in the back, we've got the Mewtwo, the Mew, and then the Metal Mew card as well, which is absolutely stunning. And then below, we've got our setup here with the card display box, dice, damage coins, the special Mew flip coin, and then our packs, which, you know, is what we're really here for, as well as the play mat that comes with this, keeping that same design as on the front with Mew and the 151 sort of stencil designs. There we go. You can see, see right here, we've got Mew on the front there with that Pokeball, and then we've got that original 151, those sort of stencil designs laid out on here kind of like a mouse pad material so you could also use it as a sort of uh mouse pad like kind of like the one i have underneath here that just covers up your entire desk space for your keyboard and your mouse so that's kind of nice but also lightweight and easily rolled up into a very tight package so that you can bring it with you if you want to go play some games some some like card game against your friends or at a tournament or whatever we are going to dig right into these packs though keep this display nice and organized. These cards are in wrappers, except for the metal ones, so no reason to take those out. This actually doubles as a display box as well. This comes out and has a kickstand, so I'm just gonna leave those in that for now, most likely, and have those displayed uh, individually. Get that a little bit lower there. There we go. And then we've got our packs out here. out of the way so we have a little bit more space to see everything beautiful we've got our two four whoops six eight ten two four six eight yep okay cool let's say yeah in total there is 16 packs so we got eight in each stack there and let's get ripping Got a good feeling about this. Got a good feeling. All right, let's see if this first pack has some magic for us. We got Weeping Bell off the, the rip there. Ghastly, that cute uh, art style. I've seen the Haunter card when my friend John opened up his box and it matches that, but it's a really cute, interesting art style that they did there. Paris, Voltorb, Victory Bell, Big Air Balloon, Prime Ape, Magnemite on the Reverse Hollow, Ekans on the Reverse Hollow. Oh, and we got Giovanni's Charisma. We got the full card art for Giovanni on the first pack. That is a good one. That's a winner. I know people have been looking for that card. And I know it is one of the rarer cards in the set. Indicated. Now it's not perfect, I can already tell there's some dings here on the bottom, unfortunately. But uh, but it's it's still a gorgeous card and it's definitely a sought after card. Thanks. Let's see if we can kinda press those out a little bit. Yeah, just a slight, slight knock, notch there at the bottom, but not bad. Regardless, still a great card. And, uh, you know, maybe not something that's grade worthy, not something I want to send in to get graded because I can see something like that on it already. Um, you can kind of see at the top there, there's a little bit of a, a bend as well. This one got kind of messed up, to be honest. In the uh, factory, I'm thinking, because like, look at that. Those are print errors. There's one there, there's one there. Like the card isn't even flush. It's like thicker cardboard. I don't know if you can see that. 
but um, it's it's almost like there's a bubble underneath it or something. So yeah, definitely not one we're gonna get graded, but still a winner of a card, especially off the first pack. It's nice to know that we got something rare out of this to begin with, and you know, like I said, maybe not grade worthy, but still a great card. And I, you know, I said I, I said I got a good feeling about these packs, and so that's a good start, showing us that we have a, a chance, a high chance, I think, of getting something really good here, as long as we can get them without any damage to them going forward. <laughs> Porygon, Electabuzz, Coughing, Tangela, Golbat, Leftovers, Persian. We got the Pidgeot Reverse Hollow, Doduo Reverse Hollow, and then a Raichu Ultra Rare with that full foil. That is a pretty Raichu. I like that card. Let's keep ourselves as organized as we can as we start ripping through these packs here. Okay, we got Vulpix there. That's an interesting art style. Magnemite. That one looks like a toy they took a live photo of, which I've been seeing a lot more of lately. Caterpie, Eevee, Dugong, Hitmonchan. Man, the arts on these are really cool. Look at that. Got that Solar Flare, Sea King, Clefairy with the Reverse Hollow, Magmar with the Reverse Hollow. Ooh, and we got uh, Aerodactyl and the Green Energy. So we got the the fancy energy there, and we got the full Hollow on the Aerodactyl, which is a beautiful card. Look at that. Wow. All right, let's get those in some sleeves here, just in case. Probably do the right shoe right too, that wouldn't hurt. There we go. And of course this energy. And I know that in the set, the, the energy you're looking for is gonna be the psychic energy, the purple one, um, cause that one comes with a gold border on the card on top of being a hollow, um, but not a bad, not a bad one to pull. And so if you're curious if these 151 packs are worth it, all in all, I've known, I've, I've been knowing that they have a, an, an odd pull rate in, a, in the sense that I've seen people from, you know, from tins, we got our gold Mewtwo from uh, ETBs. I've seen a lot of people struggle to get anything good. Uh, John got a, a hollow Dragonair from that, a full art Dragonair, which was pretty cool. But outside of that, with the, the ones that guarantee those promo cards, it almost looked like they had a lower drop rate. But this um, 151 UPC is having a lot of luck because John got like five or six hits in his that were really good, including the Blastoise, Ivysaur, and Charmeleon. Um, we're getting Gino, Giovanni off the bat. So, so far, so good. I think these, um, the larger boxes, they seem to have a higher pull rate. We've got the Slowpoke, Magmar, Horsey, Snorlax, Sand Slash, Nidorino, Reverse Cubone. Oh, shit, and we got the item switch. What? With the full gold? This one's right up there at the top of the list for rarity. Uh, it's right after the Mew, uh, the gold Mew in the booklet. So that is definitely a winner. And behind that, we got a full hollow Marowak that is beautiful. Look at that background art. Yeah, so see, as I was talking about it, we're already you know, rolling through here, getting something like a mini hit per pack and then a couple of massive hits uh, throughout. This is a killer one. I'm gonna put that right inside the plastic too. Same with Giovanni down here. I was debating doing it just because I know it's already got those issues, so I'm never gonna get it graded, but why not? Why not? Just to be, just to make sure it doesn't get any worse. That way, if we do end up giving it to somebody or selling it to somebody, maybe if they wanna get it graded, it's got a better shot at having some success. And we're gonna throw that Cubone in here too, cause it's got, oh wait, no, not the Cubone. Was it the, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, okay, cool, we're good, we're good. It was the Marowak, that's what it was. So we got the Hollow Marowak and the Reverse Hollow Cubone, nice little set there. Regular Magmar and the Reverse Hollow Magmar. Let's see here, because yeah, this is the book that comes in the ETB, in the Elite Trainer Box, giving you a guide. And so as you can see here, the top three rare cards in here, the only ultra rare, or what are the triple star comes out as, rarity level wise. 
yeah hyper rare so we're gonna get we got the the mu from a tin but we just got that switch here so the only one that we don't have from that three is that purple energy so that is a killer killer pull ah why not we'll throw cubone in here too to go with his uh his grown-up form Man, that's awesome that we got Giovanni and the Switch. Really bummed that Giovanni has some issues because it's a badass card. Um, you know, going back to that <clears throat> original Team Rocket leader with that city backdrop. <clears throat> but um, it is what it is. At least we got something, right? All right, moving in this next pack, we got Krabby, Sandshrew, Seal. It's so nice seeing all these original 151 characters. And, you know, even though you can get 151, the original 151 characters, the first gens in a lot of different packs and a lot of different art styles, it's cool that this one is just kind of an entire exercise in nostalgia. Firo, Onyx, Dragonair, Reverse Hollow, Dugong, Slowbro, and then the Kangaskhan EX. Whoops, whoops. Oh God, energy down. Energy down. Throw that in one of our silver sleeves here, the dark rice sleeves. I try to match the card border with the backgrounds. I think that does, that adds a nice touch to it. See what I'm saying? Look at that. It kind of extends the card art a little bit. Gives it a clean feeling while it's inside that case. one of those things where like you want to rip through all the packs as fast as you can because you're so excited but also you like want to savor them it's like eating your favorite food you know how fast do you go do you scarf it down because it's so good or do you savor it because it's your favorite all right grimer off the front psyduck ekans with that sort of alternative art style again another cubone but regular muck Daisies help, but not the trainer card, so that's whatever. Venomoth, Butterfree with the reverse hollow. Tauros, ooh, and Blastoise EX. So this isn't the Blastoise we want. It's not the full card art, but it is um, an EX, and it is a solid uh, play card. So that's, you know, sort of like a mini hit. You know, ones like these, I think, are only worth like a couple bucks. They're not really worth anything big. Um, and they don't really go up in value that much either, but they do have a beautiful card art and uh, apparently a, uh, a wide playability within the, the, the game itself, which I have been excited to get into more. And now that we've got, you know, a full set of dice and damage uh, counters, as well as this playmat here, there's really nothing stopping this now, is there? Except <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be an exercise in are you smarter than a fifth grader? But nah, we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we come to it. Venonat. Oh, I feel like I got another EX. I got a glance at one of those. Pidgey, Metapod, Ponyta, Executor. That's a cute Executor. Chilling on the palm beaches there on that little island. Rigid Band. Something's rigid. These cards were getting. Sorry. Ignore me. Grabbler. Geo dude with the reverse hollow to go with that graveler, Kabuto, and Machamp with the full foil there. You know, again, these are mini hits, so nothing crazy out of these. These are the kind of cards that, if you're looking to play the game, can often be good and also give you um, a little bit of flair. You know, when you throw your cards down, it's fun having them look cool and maybe being a little more impressive than the standard art, even if the attacks and things don't really get much better. Um, but uh, you know, I don't know the rules, but it's got a, an ability, and then it's got a, a hundred power attack. Probably not bad, right? Come on, we're looking for that Charizard, that Altart Charizard, or a Demigod pack. You know, where we can get a whole set of a whole starter lineup, uh, evolution-wise. But those are as rare as rare gets. I think your odds are like one in five hundred packs minimum is where you might be able to find that kind of super heavy hitting pack and then in japan it changes the rates but i know for us it's pretty low and uh, as i understand it there's certain boxes that have higher chances but i don't think the upc is one of them dome fossil weedle zubat what is zubat doing is it, are there supposed to be clouds like is it like diving through a storm in a forest it looks like it's digging a hole and you're like a rocks pov goldine that's a cool art Butterfree again, Lapras, Cycling Road, 
Another Goldeen with the reverse on this one and Polyrath. And then Omastar. And I actually already have this hollow, but it is a pretty one. I like the way that it's kind of just sitting in the middle of this little pink kelp field. Well, I guess at this point I actually would have preferred the EX that I thought I was going to get. Funny that I keep getting these sets where it's like, you know, multiple fighting types reverse hollows, multiple water type reverse hollows, multiple grass type. It seems like the reverse hollows in the back kind of come in a in a grouping almost. Ooh, this pack feels heavy. I'm probably tripping, but... <laughs> Come on, got back. Nope. <laughs> Tentacle, Ratatata, Squirtle, Lickitung, or Schlurp, as it's also known in German. <laughs> if you guys have one of those, tell me. I want it. Seedra, Kobuto, Gloom, Reverse Hollow, Raticate, Nidoran, and a Chansey. Oh, and we got the, uh, the energy there. We got the shiny uh, water energy. Nice. We're getting a set of these. I've gotten a Hollow Psychic, not the one we want, but I've gotten a Hollow Psychic. I've gotten the Hollow Water, Grass. I want to say Dark as well. Okay, let's take a, a, a mini cleaning break here to organize ourselves a little bit. Get some of these empty packs out of the way. I'm not sitting here excited thinking I have more than I do because I'm staring at empty packs piled up on the side here right next to my good packs because, you know, that's how organized I like to be. Oh, oh there we go. The swoop. The swoop. And flip. Vulpix. Damn, it's another regular, regular foil. I just, like, I saw the edge. Magnemite, Caterpie, Eevee, Rapidash, Nidorina, Raticate, Reverse on the Parasect, the Helix Fossil. Oh, and Ditto. Nice. Ooh, and we got the Fighting Energy. Okay, cool. So we're almost done with that energy set. As far as having, like, a hollow goes. Not from this one release, but in general, having some hollow energies. And then I got that full hollow Ditto, which is a cute one. It's like it's hiding amongst rocks or something. And it's got transformative start on it, so that's actually a pretty decent move. What the hell is Splup? That's its attack is Splup, but that's actually a decent move um, if you wanted to play it in real combat or tournaments or whatever. League play. Being able to kind of switch into a different Pokemon right off the bat like that is kind of big. Oh, it smells like Thanksgiving. Who's cooking? Tentacool. Rattata, Squirtle again, Lickitung again, Kingler, Energy Sticker, cool, right on, and the Reverse Sea King, oh shit, there you go, we got a Full Art Machoke, nice, because I have a Full Art Machamp from the Obsidian Flames one, and this one's kind of cool, because they, the Machamp's helping them, like, move fruit around town or something, and this one here, he's, he's helping them move into their apartment, that is adorable, and definitely a big hit. And then we've also got the Dodrio and the Electric Energy. Man, we're getting so many of these energies. We just got Fire, Water, Grass, Lightning, or Electric, and I think one more, all in like a run. But that Full Art Machoke is a big one. Not as rare as the other two that we got, but really but definitely up there and also being that it's actually a pokemon that's kind of it's kind of cool um only one attack on here mountain ramming discard the top card of your opponent's deck but that's pretty good that's a decent move we got that hollow dodrio here let's slip that into a slot it's funny how sad like that face looks you got one dodrio that looks like it's going to war and one looks like it's the upset brother who got tagged along <laughs> that's funny Ah, oh, but that Machoke is good, man. So we've gotten a, we've gotten a couple of hits, including the energies, um, which I would rather have those not be my hits, but it is what it is. But I mean, between the Giovanni that <clears throat> gold item switch, and now the Machoke, you know, this is feeling like a pretty solid run through. Not as good as somebody's Blastoise that they got, but it is what it is. <laughs> 
Weeping Bell, Ghastly, oh, I guess he's leaving, Paris, Voltorb, Charmeleon, Scyther, Parasect, Staryu, that is an adorable art style there, Weedle, and the full hollow Dragonite, or the foil Dragonite, so not a, uh, not the one we want for Dragonite, but definitely, a, uh, you know, a cute card, Dragon Pulse, that does 180, oh, but you gotta get rid of two cards on your deck, that's, that's meh, that's meh. <clears throat> But considering John and I each like got one of these boxes in the mail, and considering he got a Blastoise, a Charmeleon, and an Ivysaur, and I've gotten these two item trainer cards and the Machoke, you know, that's a pretty good spread. I'm often worried when we order like in bulk like that because I feel like maybe they they spread the cards out in a way that if you get boxes next to each other, your odds go down. That could be superstition, but um, that's kind of always what I've assumed. And so I figure if you order more separately, it increases your odds of getting good stuff. But we're really making some solid hits here. I better get one of those freaking three starters though, man. This guy got one of each of them. <laughs> I haven't gotten a single one. Metapod, Ponyta, a lot of repeats here. Clefable, that's a new one. Doug Drio, Haunter with that art to go with the Ghastly. Electabuzz on the reverse, Bill Transfer on the regular, and then an Electrode on the full. Yeah, nothing big there. Nothing big there. Still got three more shots at this. Come on. Come on. Give me a starter. Give me a starter. Give me a starter. Or I'll take another gold mew. That would work too. Dome fossil. Getting a lot of dome fossils. Weedle, Zubat. Goldine again. Eric is invitation. That's another one you want like the full card art for. If you get this, that's like a top three card right now for what people are, are seeking out. Because your opponent reveals hands, puts a basic Pokemon onto their opponent's bench. If you put a Pokemon on their bench, switch the Pokemon to active spot. Yeah, I don't totally understand what that means, but apparently it's a really good card for playing. Magneton, Nidoqueen, and we can already see that it's a reverse, so we're probably not going to get anything big on this one. Venomoth, Vaporeon, okay, cute. And Kabutops again with that hollow. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Getting nervous. <laughs> and the flip. Poliwag. Pikachu. Far fetched. Oh no. Oh no. Shelter. Protective glasses. Goggles. Whatever. Arcanine. Tentacruel. Rhyhorn. Hitmonlee and Articuno. Yeah, I saw that edge and I was like, it's another regular, regular hollow. Damn. Pretty card though. And Blizzard is a pretty good move apparently. If this Pokemon, no retreat cost and the Blizzard attacks the benched Pokemon, that's probably pretty badass. Okay, last pack magic. This is it, this is the one. Stakes are high. Krabby. Oh no. Oh no. Sandshrew. Seal. Doduo. Giovanni's Charisma. Cloister. Grabber. Oh no. Reverse Hollow Squirtle. Energy Sticker. And Bee Drill. Damn. Nothing big on that last one. Hollow Bee Drill. Ah, that's tough. I was hoping for something cool. I was hoping for one of those starters. I can't believe we didn't get one at all. And John got one of every one of them. That's kind of wild. But we did get them a choke. We got the energies. EX is there. The switch and the Giovanni's charisma. Those are huge cards, though. I really like these two foil-wise. We've got the grass energy as well. So all in all, we did technically get seven hits some mini hits, and three big ones. So realistically, it was a pretty good pull rate um, as far as these things go, especially as far as 151 has gone. Uh, wasn't quite as good as the box John got, but in all fairness, he's had a pretty pretty rough run with his card openings. So I think he was due for a pop like that. So I'm happy he managed to get some of those. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for Giovanni being chipped like that, it would be a lot cooler. 
but it is what it is. You can kind of see this like gray line right there, but it is what it is. Switch is probably the best uh, trainer card in the game. So at least we did get that one with that gold border there. And all in all, I'm pretty happy with our finds. Let me know what uh, what cards you guys got out of the 151. What was your favorite so far? I think the, the Machoke was my favorite from this poll. I mean, that Mew was hard to beat, but the Machoke is pretty badass. Whoops. All right, well, I'm going to go get these into some safe places. And you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for stopping by.